Good afternoon, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for trading session the 2nd of June 2017 on a Friday. Please be sure to visit TradeSignal, signals market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so we have a stellar rally on our hands. Uh, certainly seems to be very strange in terms of the uh, climate change, uh, obviously, uh, uh, conundrum at present. You have Mr. Trump. Well, everybody knows he's a bit of an idiot, um, but obviously he's done another idiot at task uh, and certainly uh, exited from the uh, Paris Climate Change Agreement, which to uh, his um, own, uh, um, shall we say, IQ level, I mean, I know it's already low, but this is even lower than that, okay? Uh, and uh, it certainly seems to be the uh, um, normal uh, imbecile act that he uh, usually does. So nothing new really there. If anything, he's taking America back to the Stone Age. He wants to embrace coal when everybody else is embracing wind and solar. And uh, obviously, <laughs> um, it seems like uh, Mr. Musk is upset as well. He's certainly, uh, uh, and all the people as well, Mr. Mayor Bloomberg as well. Uh, and even the actual uh, uh, state that he uh, certainly quoted, uh, that state in and of itself certainly has rejected him as well. So it certainly seems like America is going backwards. America last policy as opposed to America first policy. So uh, he continues to shoot himself in the foot, which I think he's accustomed to now, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, it's just a matter of time before he gets impeached and uh, and this nightmare is over. Nevertheless, we're, we're dealing with it at present and we have to see what the, uh, the actual uh, outcome and the... Uh, the ramifications of that are my understanding is that the ramifications are extremely negative okay certainly extremely negative that's how i would in interpret it okay um from my understanding the markets have certainly rallied even though oil prices have fallen below 47 dollars okay oil, oil prices certainly are the ones that are being hurt the most and that's because obviously uh, deregulation deregulation in the commodity sector means basically it's a free for all increase oil supply increase obviously shale and uh, it certainly seems like the uh, all, uh, uh, the commodities uh, sector certainly is being hit, which in turn obviously is creating deflation because, as we already know, uh, oil equals inflation, and if oil is moving lower, then you are looking at deflationary policies going forward. So certainly interesting, interesting thus far, okay? Interesting to say the least. Either way, uh, stock markets are enjoying it, they're loving it, okay? Auto sector obviously is moving higher. Uh, the uh, um, travel sector to a large extent obviously is certainly enjoying it as well. And obviously, with oil being down, it is a potential stimulus. But what's the detriment? I mean, it certainly is uh, is a cause of concern. I mean, the latest headline here: oil slide below 47 as withdrawal from climate da uh, climate deal sparks supply concerns. Losses deep of oil prices and finally with crude oil falling 47 as riding U.S. production and President Trump's withdrawal from the Paris Climate Accord added to concerns of a persistent supply go. Uh, so again, losses on Friday extended late afternoon Thursday, which more than reversed. Gains triggered by a bigger than expected drop in U.S. inventories. The drop came as traders in, uh, obviously focused on rising U.S. output and Trump pulling the country out of the global climate deal, which could spur even higher U.S. production. Obviously, if there's no regulation, then they can drill where they want as much as they want, okay, and no holds barred. So uh, it certainly seems like the OPEC has been taken for a ride, from my understanding. The Americans certainly are playing them for fool, asking them to cut whilst they ramp up production. Now, something has to give. Okay, will the Russians sit back and watch oil prices slide? I don't think so. Will the Saudis sit back and watch oil prices slide? I don't think so. So again, this is, um, isn't looking good. Let's put it that way. It certainly isn't looking good. And it isn't looking good for the FTSE 100, nor is it looking good for the uh, oil producers, which again are heavily weighted in, in the uh, indices sectors. Okay, so that certainly is a status quo at present. Okay, so uh, add, add in the fact that you have uh, the Nikkei breaking past the 20,000 level overnight. It certainly seems like uh, we are looking at a, a party here with regards to the Nikkei. If I bring up the Nikkei here, you can see we broke out, we broke out, we broke higher. That's one of the reasons why the US markets certainly are very bullish. Uh, you are looking at 20,900 or 21,000 next. Uh, interesting, interesting to say at least. Let's just bring up the USD JPY. Uh, USD JPY certainly has been weak, has been has certainly held resistance, okay, as you can see here. Uh, and you are looking for risk aversion. It certainly seems like the market's extremely, extremely overbought at present. Okay, so that's the status quo. In terms of European uh, equities at present, where where do we sit? The FTSE up uh, 30 points, the DAX up 203 points, and that's impressive, and that's mainly led by the auto sector. 
uh, CAC up for 40 points, FTSE mid buy back, stock 600. So again, uh, a breakout in the German DAX. In terms of economic data today, let's just quickly go through this for you. Uh, UK construction data certainly coming in better than expected. Eurozone PMI, sorry, price, or should we say inflation, certainly coming on the weaker side, thereby helping. European equities to a large extent, okay? Uh, China certainly was more or less flat overnight, so that's certainly something worth knowing. Although the Nikkei is certainly moving higher now. Let's look at the actual German DAX here. Daily chart of the German DAX certainly into double top. Okay, we have paced through it. We'll see whether or not we could put in a topping tail there. 60 minute chart certainly paced through and broken through that double top as well. Now the 10 minute chart has left a gap behind. You've got a gap at 12,660. Now we're up almost uh, uh, 200 odd points. Now that, that certainly is extreme. And we are now looking for a retracement or a pullback at present, okay? CAC 40, certainly into that pivot R3 resistance, and you are looking at uh, risk off here now. Daily chart, you're looking at horizontal resistance. You do just have the unfilled gap at 5405. That still remains open, okay? And my perspective should still remain open, unless the German DAX obviously surges higher. 60-minute chart, you are into pivot R3. So my interpretation is that you are into resistance here and you are looking for a move lower now let's bring up the euro stocks as well euro stocks i was expecting resistance around the 3600 we've broken uh, actually broken through there is an exit resistance at 3640 given gap fill but uh, very unlikely for my interpretation especially with euro usd above that 1.12 level okay so just keep an eye on that 10 minute chart from my perspective certainly looks overextended looking for a reversal here Okay, now in terms of the FTSE 100, let's just bring up the FTSE for you. FTSE 100, like I said, the UK index should be under uh, pressure given the uh, concerns regarding uh, oil price drop down to 47, potentially sub 47 as well at one time. 60 minute chart, you are holding that double top with the uh, topping tail. Okay, so double top certainly being held in the FTSE. And the, the, the bias certainly seems to be with the bears at present, especially given the commodity weakness. So we are looking for a move lower on the FTSE 100. Okay, so that's a good summation, really, of uh, European equities and where we stand. Uh, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye.